point, well, uh, is 10.53 in the a.m. It's actually like slightly humid today. But anyways, we're gonna go to the gym. So today's Monday, which, hold up, hold up, focus up. Today's Monday, which means that Juan and Ann on are working, because obviously they still have their lives to go about. So I have to uh, find things to keep me busy throughout the day, but that's actually very easy, because one of them is just actually sleeping in, because this whole trip, it's like every day I've been waking up at 7.30. Actually, I've been waking up at seven, which is very early for me. So I got to actually sleep in for the first time, sleep in for the first time, and now I'm gonna go to the gym, walk into the gym, which is so nice because it's only a 20 minute walk, which is perfect because I'm just going over there to do cardio. Later in the day, when Juan gets off, we're gonna do legs. It's leg day, which is perfect as well because yesterday was a refeed. That was like my last off day. If you watch that, it was just like a bunch of eating and random stuff. But actually, in the end, the calorie amount didn't even exceed, I highly doubt it exceeded maintenance because I burned about 2,500 calories yesterday and all that food together, I was like just in my head, I'm still kind of keeping track of a calorie count, not macros, you know, um, but I don't think it even exceeded 2,500. I had a protein shake at the beginning of the day and one at the end of the day. But other than that, it wasn't, it didn't seem like it wasn't too bad because also we didn't get to have everything we wanted to have at Barbecue Master, so that kind of helped a little bit, you know? And then dim sum, like, I don't know, how, how bad can it possibly be? Who knows? And especially shared it between three people. But yeah, so I'm going to the gym right now, just gonna go do some cardio just to help get rid of that because now we are 27 days, which actually seems pretty scary thinking about it's that close. 27 days until it's showtime. Oh, we're getting dark. We're getting dark. Hold up. Uh, oh, wrong way. Yeah, it's 27 days until showtime. Like, like they keep posting on their um their thing, the thing about how close it is to the show. And everyone's like, they keep reposting everyone's uh everyone's statuses and everything. So all the different competitors, which is kind of cool. Like Deb, Deb, <coughs> WMBF really does a lot for their, I don't know, they like advertise really well. This thing is having trouble focusing, but I have dropped this camera a couple of times to where it only records out of one side, which is pretty annoying, but I'll fix that post-production. So anyways, yes, today we're trying to burn a bunch of calories doing this cardio. And then I'm gonna go grocery shopping because I need to have some groceries, even though this is the last day, so it's kind of pointless, but I do need to, I wanna have some food for the trip back tomorrow. I don't wanna just be doing random stuff because like I said, we're dialing it in for these last days coming up. So, and then I'm gonna buy some groceries as well to make some noodles for An and Juan, just so they can have like kind of some idea of what what it is that I do like for my work 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 and then I hopefully will take a nap so that way I don't feel too tired for legs because legs you know we're about to beat it up and today's supposed to be hack squat day which is death day although there's a this gym it is I think it is a hammer strength hack squat but I've never seen the way it's shaped before so it might be a little different we'll see we're also not, not trying to get hurt in the final stages as well. It's actually crazy that he lives so close to the gym. It's so nice to be able to walk instead of driving everywhere. Like I do like, okay, first of all, I just gotta say being in Seattle, this doesn't even feel like real life because in living in Texas, you know, you kind of have to drive everywhere and everything's like just very flat and there's like not much nature, and if it is, it just doesn't look that nature natural. So this is like, it's so strange to be in this area where it's like so hilly, ups and downs everywhere. You can see the mountains in the horizon, 
there's different types of trees and all this stuff everywhere. It feels very strange. It does not feel like real life. It feels like I'm in a freaking TV show. Plus, the fact that Juan and An have a house, live in a house from 1969, and it's like just uh, structured differently. It feels like I'm in a TV show. So, it's very strange. But I did kind of have the same feeling when I first moved to Japan all those years ago, where I was like, this is not real life. We're riding our bikes everywhere, we're walking everywhere. Like the nature's ever present everywhere. It also didn't feel like real life at that time. So I guess it's just a vacation into another reality that is not my own, but it's really freaking nice. Although, you see today, he was saying that um, it is very true that Seattle at some point, I think it's like, he said January, February, it just becomes like this every single day where there's just no sun here there's no sun it's just clouds every single day i said a lot of people have to they like leave for a vacation during this the, those times because after like two or three months straight of just clouds whew, it becomes a little i dropped my lens it becomes a little depressing so i can see that I can see that. If there's no sun ever and I was just seeing clouds every day, eh, I'd get I'd be like, well, I need to get out of here. I get some actual sun. That's enough rambling for now. Seven minutes, seven minutes of rambling. So I'm gonna put this away. But also, this is like a 20 minute walk. So 20 minutes there, 20 minutes back, and on the way back is a little bit more uphill. I was already 40 minutes of cardio. And I'm gonna sit on that bike until I get my Instagram post done. But it's gonna be another 30 minutes. We're gonna have over an hour cardio. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. We are gone. Wait, hold on. I actually don't know where I'm going here. Hold up. Oh, wait. Wait. Well, anyways, we're done with cardio. It took like 40 minutes, not bad at all. Got my little social media post up. I'm telling you, it's like super easy. I just sit on the thing, start writing a post, and because I like to write stories, like I actually get to sit down and think about what I want to say and think about what I'm thinking and how everything is going. It makes it very easy. However, I'm kind of sweaty. I'm actually very sweaty. It is, but it's so peaceful here. You see it? Like, do you hear that? How quiet it is it? Like, no sound. Back in Houston, where I live, there's always effing sound going outside, outside my apartment, going on outside my apartment, and definitely definitely doesn't feel this peaceful okay I'm definitely not going the right way oh my gosh by the way because today's leg day I normally don't do cardio on leg day but I woke up late and I haven't done anything and I kind of want to like get a little bit of extra expenditure oh dog poop extra expenditure since I like ate yesterday so in order to not be too tired for leg day, I turned down the um, the resistance on the bike. I like pedal harder, but it's not a big deal because it's less less just force you're putting. Like your your muscle gets less, or my muscle gets less taxed because actually I I crank it up pretty high to where I actually feel like I'm getting a burn in the muscle because I like that. I don't know. I feel like if you're just using the muscle, whoa. If you're just using that body part, focus please. If you're just using the body part and just going through the motions, but there's not any actual like muscle stimulation, like in terms of like, yeah, stimulation, then that's how you make your muscles small. Because if it's just going through the motions, no stimulation, but you're burning calories, then of course you're burning energy off something and your body's like, well, we don't even need to hold muscle because this isn't even hard. So I like to turn it up, so that way I am getting a little bit of muscle stimulation. So my body's like, "All right, hold up, he's actually doing something here. We need to have some muscle, or else we're not gonna be able to keep doing this." Is my thought process. Where the f am I? <laughs> okay, I'm putting the camera down now. On, oh, you're like my mom. You just just insult me out of nowhere. 
Talking about Rachel. Like, oh, I like rose. Rose is the star. Rose milk <laughs> tea. What's wrong with rose milk tea? Oh my gosh. See? What? That's why I put lavender in your room. Why? Because you like it. So what's wrong with that? No, I'm just saying. What's wrong with lavender milk tea, huh? It's kind of a girly drink. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh imagine, How? Imagine you go uh, on a date with a girl and go <laughs> yep. to a bubble tea place. Uh-huh. What do you want to get? Oh, I like something floral, like rose. <laughs> 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 you guys are an idiot. Like, uh, no, no, no. Oh, that's hot. <laughs> 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 uh. So it'll be good if I go and I ask them for like, I want to try tip milk tea. <laughs> Girl's gonna like that. All right, after almost passing out because I got really sleepy from driving around, it's uh, 4.43 in the p.m. Real quick, before we head out to don't yell at me, after I just got flamed by on and trolled. Wait, where is it? Whoa, look at this. What's going on here? I saw some pedicure action earlier on. You were taking the nails off, just practicing for your future shop. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Yeah, okay. I got called gay for liking drinks. <laughs> the fuck? Wow, look at Juan's new outfit. Can you see that? Oh, yes. I'm still. Look at him. I'm still. They're new, so I'm experimenting. This isn't. But cool. he looks freaking. Fancy. Hello, cozy. Huh? Gucci man. We are at Don't Yell at Me. It's a tea place. That's actually looking pretty nice. Uh, Juan, what'd you get? The I got the original, original milk tea. Okay. Do you know what the difference between the original and the traditional is? No, no not at all. Okay. Yeah. I went with one of the thumbs up, one of the thumbs up uh, choices, which was the rose milk tea. Seven, eight, please take the meal. The rose milk tea that uh, On was telling me not to get. Is it either gonna be that or the lavender? Nine. They're both syrups. Which is interesting because if it's a syrup, it should be sweet. But when I asked him, he's like, it's not sweet. Well, well, the presentation is cool when it's just different layers. Right? Yeah, I like it. Yeah, it's very cool looking. So as you can see, we just got a thing of syrup at the bottom. Good. Good? Good sweetness. This looks nice though. Looks cool. Like literally scan every bottle to see if the label if they had a label that said rose and lavender and they did. Ah, oh, points for real straw. Looks good. Here we go. The tea, the tea is actually good. You can like barely taste the rose, but the tea, the tea itself is good. Eight, not to your taste. Please take the meal. <laughs> let us know. Well, if it's not to your taste, let us know when you're right. Mm. Uh. Yeah, like, I can't really taste the rose, but it's like a little bit of sweetness. Like, I can taste the syrup in here. Basically, yeah, I can taste the syrup. But it's pretty good though. The tea's good. I like it. Come on. Like the tea flavor. I'm not sure if it's the tea flavor or just the overall thing because it's like they're using like a the black sugar, whatever it's called, or dark brown sugar, whatever. Japanese they always call black sugar, but it has a, it's like it's that flavor, you know. I like that flavor. It's good though. The boba is good. The boba tastes good. Hmm. Textures. Yeah, the boba it's like, pretty good though. Satisfied. This place is solid. All right, so we're making some Byung Byung noodles for uh, Juan and An, and she's making... What's this, An? What is this? Pho. Pho? I've never seen pho with... Chicken, right? With thicker noodles like this. Oh, that's the so authentic one. Vietnamese? Really? Yes, in Vietnam we don't eat. You don't use the thin ones? Why do they only use that here? Wait, really? 
<laughs> They're stupid. Wait, in Vietnam you only eat these ones? Usually? Yeah, that's the authentic one. What the heck? This is news to me. Breaking news. Anyways, yeah, like look what look what Ann's got prepared here. She freaking prepared a whole chicken. This morning I saw her in the backyard chasing it down. Just kidding. <laughs> What's on? What you got on there? Oh. Yellow jacket. You took him out? Yeah, oh shoot. Alright, now talk shit to him. Like that you piece of shit. <laughs> what you think? Chewy and spicy. Yeah. It's, it's delicious. <laughs> delicious. Mala. Mala. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Just, you just took a lick at me, this guy. He thought I wouldn't notice. Bean just like turns his head to me, licks me, and then walks away. What a guy. Bean, stop fucking with the <laughs> Look what On has prepared for us today. Like I said, a couple hours ago, this chicken was roaming free. <laughs> now it's gone. <laughs> I, was like, I was chasing the chicken in the morning. <laughs> I was trying to sleep, and I wake up to the yeah! <laughs> so what is this called? Fugga. Fugga. Mmm, that's a pretty good pronunciation. Thank what? you. Fugga, like mm -hmm. that. Ga yeah, down. Oh. And fa is like a question. Oh. So it's like fa fugga. Fa? Yeah, fugga. Oh, fugga. That's, that's freaking hard to say. Look at this. Wow. Homemade. From Juan. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> really outdone herself. I'm not sure. I mean, she definitely worked up an appetite. Chasing this dumb, dumb thing around this morning. <laughs> yeah, we have the the roaming chickens out there, and yeah, you just don't—they're hiding. <laughs> they're hiding because they saw what happened to their brethren <laughs> this morning. So this is pretty exciting. I saw this machine all week, and I was like, "Can okay, this hack squat looks a little different?" And today, when we actually got to it, I was like, "Wait a second, where do you put your head?" And then I realized it's one of those lower back uh, mounted hack squats which is very cool because it takes all basically all the pressure off your lower back from having to put the weight on your shoulders so this weight feels pretty heavy right here and also i forgot my knee sleeves we're going to bare back knees so we're gonna see how we go 15 reps here one set the classic It's actually really nice because as I'm like struggling, you know, it's not because I'm trying to catch my back and like recover my lower back, you know. It's like my legs are actually fatiguing because it, do it, this, it doesn't put much pressure like compressing you down at all. Pretty nice.
Yeah, yeah I mean, there's no, there's not really any strain on the board, but because you can just push against exactly. this. It's not like crunching from up here down. This 503 in the I didn't expect you to be up on. No. <laughs> no. We're about to uh, head back to. Houston, wait, Houston, no, Dallas, oh boy. Well, Juan, thank you for your hosting. Come anytime. And taking uh, the time out of your days and energies, you know, to spend with me. That goes for every viewer. Come at any time, <laughs> but I will charge you. <laughs> A lot of money. <laughs> Anyone in the area watching, your dogs can be bored at a low price of $200 an hour. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> Anna, it was nice to meet you. Heard so much about you. <laughs> <laughs> More than a troll than I ever could imagine. <laughs> Better hit the road. We're heading back. This is kind of awkward. Why? Because I said my goodbye because I thought Anna, I didn't know Anna was coming. <laughs> 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 She's just here with, with Bean. <laughs> Juan! <laughs> oh my gosh! I'm glad you came, Thomas. Well, thank you for having me. No, for real. Anytime. Seriously. And I know. Definitely got to be tiring, but I appreciate it a lot. That was freaking sick. On Bean. <laughs> Good to meet you guys. Very nice to meet you, On. Bye. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs>